That's pretty majestic, right? I am, of course, in Barcelona, Spain, one of the most beautiful cities I've ever been to in Europe. And right now, I'm on my way to one of the best food markets in the world, La Bacaria. This place is over 150 years old. Over 300 vendors show up every single day. And many people consider this not just one of the best, but the best market in the world. And for me, just to walk together is a treat in itself. One of numerous beautiful historical sites around the city. Can you taste the anticipation? Well, wow, that's not very friendly. I mean, I can imagine if you live like right there and the market is right down here. I mean, it's not nice, but I get it. And this place is a food haven. Freshest fruits, groceries, seafood, whatever your culinary heart desires, it's got it here. I'm understandably a little overwhelmed right now. I mean, I just want everything. It, it, is that too much to ask? That's being too greedy as a food lover. I just want to eat everything here. Let's just go to the corner and start from there. Let's start with this. This is like a pita stuffed with cheese with an olive on top. And luckily they have a little miniature version. Does this look like a cheesy snowman to anybody else? With the hair on top and a big nose. Also, I had such good olives at the last market in Madrid. I thought I'd get a little cup of it here. And these are the spicy olives. They look nice and fresh and spicy. I think Spain is the first place I've been to in the world that actually started liking the olives. Oh, that's a spicy olive. I think this is the smallest pita I've ever had in my life. Mm. Oh man, the pita itself is a little stale, cold, not so good, but the cheese, oh yeah. That's melting into my heart right now. So creamy, a little tart, little bits of pickles in here as well. It's like eating a cream cheese bagel, except for it's a mini pita bucket. This is the seafood section. And people just consume the seafood right here, fresh oysters, sea urchins, whatever you want. There are a lot of places selling little servings of tapas, fried calamari, sardines, octopus. One thing I love since coming to Barcelona is the octopus and they cover it in this delicious garlicky sauce. You, usually people don't like octopus because it's a little tough. Octopus in Spain are incredibly gentle and tender. Oh, it doesn't even taste like octopus. It's so incredibly delicate. A little olive oil, a little garlic, a little basil. It just falls apart in your mouth. I don't think I've ever said that about octopus before. It really does. Once you get a few snacks in here, you're ready to upgrade your food intake, come here. Quem de la Bacaria. This place is an institution. The menu changes all the time, always packed. Celebrities come here. This place is known as the defender of the egg. So they have a lot of egg dishes here. And I'm gonna get their house specialty, two fried eggs with baby squid, because their baby squid is supposed to be amazing. Got some gazpacho, got some green peppers. I'm also gonna go for the paella. So I'm literally just sitting here in a little bar situation and they're cooking right in front of me and seeing everything and hearing all the sounds, smelling the aroma. It borderline drives you crazy. Like I want, I want to eat something now. Got some gazpacho. One of this since I came to Spain. I see this everywhere. I haven't had a chance to have it. These fried green peppers with salt on there. Oh my gosh, it smells so incredible. Oh my god. Oh. I mean, it seems like whatever. I'm fawning over a plate of fried chilies, but you gotta try this. Mm. They just got the most mouth watering, enticing aroma. This is the simple, highest quality green peppers with just some salt on it. But it's roasted over Mount Mordor because it's that simply good. 
and when you bite into it, your entire sense is overwhelmed by the smoky flavor of these incredible peppers. Oh, just got my squid and eggs. Baby squid and fried eggs. Oh, and he told me just to mix the eggs and the squid all together. And their baby squid is uniquely sourced. Oh man, look at that. Creamy egg yolks. It's yummy and really just interesting because I never had something like this before. That's why I'm saying interesting. Usually when people say interesting, it's, it's bad. I'm not saying that at all, but this is a texture and a flavor I really never had before. Mm. The baby squid is tender, but it has a bit of a chewy texture, which is great because the backdrop is just a silky egg in an incredible creamy center. The best dish, Take a bite. Chase it with a pepper. Um. <laughs> now you're adding some smoke to that deliciously lit dish. Oh, take your bread. Oh, I just dunk it in there. Just dunk a root that sucker. Oh. So awesome. Ooh. Forgot about the gazpacho. Oh man, I haven't had so many gazpacho in my life that I, I'm not an avid gazpacho eater. I just really feel like it today, but wow. That might be the best thing I had so far today. I mean, it's crazy because it's up against like creamy eggs and a baby squid and a bunch of roasted green peppers, but it's crunchy, there's squid inside, so it's got a chewy texture as well so refreshingly tomato -y. without it being overly acidic. Just the most perfectly balanced gazpacho. That thing is so balanced, you can tight walk across the Grand Canyon on a single thread. All right, I gotta eat up because I got another dish coming up. It's gonna be amazing. This thing is like a landscape painting. Oh man, just mounds of shrimp, clams, mussels. Looks like sour cream on a bit of rice. That rice is glistening. Oh, tell me you're not getting hungry right now. I mean, just marvelous. She's bright like a diamond, as Rihanna would say. Look at it glisten. I'll tell you what, I prefer these grains of rice to diamonds right now. Can't eat a diamond. Mm. I don't think anything can be made not tender here. Hot that was fresh. Rice texture, soft yet chewy. It's like this rice was cooked in the best parts of the sea and all that nice flavor is soaked into every single grain. Let's place. you gotta come here. If you're in this market, come to this place and have lunch or do what I just did, have like three lunches. Oh, that was a good feast. And now let's go check something else off my bucket list. There it is, La Sagrada Familia. Ever since I saw my first cathedral in Belgium. I've wanted to come here. You guys see the cranes on top? This cathedral has been under construction for over a century, started in 1882. Architect died when this thing was only a quarter of the way complete. Apparently this thing won't be done until like 2026, almost 10 years from now. That was a lot of security coming in here. My ticket was scanned about four to five times. Had to take my belt off, everything. Uh, but finally here. Wow, that is insane. It is just so unreal seeing this. I mean, Majestic doesn't even begin to describe this place. So many colorful stained glass windows makes this almost look like a, like a landscape painting. Look at the light coming in. All oh, the colors, I've never seen stained glass windows. So many variations of color. Just glorious, like spots of color and light coming in all throughout the structure. Probably the most vibrant stained glass windows I've ever seen. It's like a color palette. Going to the top of one of the towers and instead of having to climb as you would typically a cathedral or basilica, 
There's an elevator. And we're going up to there. Twisty stone stairs. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's already, <laughs> that's already pretty good looking, right? This is really a pretty city. It just infuriates me when I go around the world and I see this, like on all the ancient sites, like just, I mean, seriously, does nobody, does nobody ever respect culture anymore? Look at it, this is covered. So if you're standing beneath the, this basilica and you hit on the head with a euro or like a penny or something, yeah, it's, it's from here. This is our staircase and it just keeps going down. Ooh, vertical. By the way, paying extra for the tower ticket, not really worth it. The tower is just eh, not really worth the money. This might be the first cup of coffee I've ordered in years because I don't really drink coffee, but uh, this thing's a banana coffee. Bitter, but banana-y. Mm. It's not bad. Last day I'm gonna eat today. Gotta get some churros. Hot chocolate and churro. I don't even know how I can live without this combo later. This is like just addictive stuff. I don't like my chocolate too thick or too thin. Just smooth like this. This is like the perfect consistency for me. Good hot chocolate. Mmm. Oh man. That's actually probably the smoothest hot chocolate I've had so far. That's amazing. This hot chocolate is pretty dark, a little bitter. I like that. This is probably the least crispy churro I've had. But I think I like this texture the most as well because I like a little chewiness on the inside after the crunchy shell. This is the perfect ending to my day. All right, after this, I'm gonna go to bed. Good night.